So this is an A.G. Spalding and Brothers Geneva tennis racket from my collection. It's got an interesting uh, convex throat, a little bit like the, the old Rossignol F200s. And this racket was actually patented on January 3rd, 1905. So it's probably over 100 years old. It's in remarkable condition considering how old it is. There are no grommets, they're just drilled holes for the strings. And it looks like there's some sort of a metal nail or screw that's holding together the, the pieces of wood. The handle of this racket does not have a leather grip or any kind of grip. It's just bare wood. But it does have these very small grooves. Looks like they were etched into it. And uh, I suppose this will give a better grip and maybe even wick away some sweat. And at the end of the handle, you can see a, a leather butt cap nailed into the wood. And remarkably, everything is still in good condition, looks intact. There's no way I'm gonna try playing with this racket by holding onto the bare wood handle. So I put on a Turner Grip Megatac Grip, which is my favorite overgrip. And now here we go. Initially, when I first started hitting with this racket today, I was a little bit scared because I didn't know if this racket would even survive hitting with the ball. And so I was a little bit tentative and not really swinging very hard. Although the racket is about 358 grams, uh, 364 with an overgrip, it is only 26 and a quarter inches long, so it took some getting used to and felt very light to me. Initially I was a little bit scared to take big swings, so I, I was kind of swinging maybe 50 or 75%, but I started getting the timing with it, feeling a little bit more comfortable as I was hitting with it. One of the things that really surprised me is that the frame feels surprisingly pretty stiff. Stiffer than some of the Jack Kramer autographs I've played with. And pretty good feedback, even though the strings are only at 27 pounds. So that, that was quite surprising. I thought it would be you know, pretty crappy playing, to be honest. <laughs>